flamer here. Two shots. Oh no. Flanker. Oh, here they come. Here they come. All right, let's get inside. Whoa, flanker. All right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned Hard Mode on the New Brunswick map. We are literally picking up precisely where we left off here at the end of the last episode. Standing on top of a fire station in this little town of Dorchester. And we're pretty much going to dehydrate to death in a moment. But check out what I just spotted over here. Blueberry bushes. And there's more than one. That will save our life. Uh, oh, I got to put my cargo shorts back on. I had these silly little engineer bottoms on. Get rid of them. Too tempting to wear because they're kind of they're kind of sexy. But you know what? We got to get to the blueberry bushes and we got to do it now. Uh, I do have a car around here somewhere, but I forget where I left it. I think it's over there. Let's just run over to the blueberry bushes and get saved. Hopefully. Oh, I tried to make it on top of that thing, but I missed. Shh. Yeah, we, we, we came through here yesterday, right? Oh, well, yesterday. In the last episode. <laughs> oh, gosh. There they come. Run. Get to the blueberry bushes. Uh, oh, they're on the other side of the river. Oh, dang. They look so close when you're looking through the binoculars. <laughs> I guess that's the whole point, right? All right. Well, hopefully I can climb up this wall. Look at all of them. Whoa. Oh, that's amazing. There's a ton. All right, great. They do hydrate, right? They do hydrate and... Oh, oh no. Oh no. Don't put the bandages away. They put the bandages away. They hydrate and I don't think there's any ill effects. Come on, blueberries. Do your thing. 10%. Whoa. Oh, that was darn good. That was fabulous. That's not only going to save our life, but we're going to get up to, uh, we're going to get up pretty high here in the hydration department. But here's the thing. We're at 92% food right now. So we're going to get a um, limited return on investment here. We get diminishing return on investment if your food is too high. So right now we're only going to get 8%. Yeah, you're only going to get what you can get from food. So once your belly's full, there's no point in continuing to eat vegetables for hydration. That's a new change. Relatively new, anyway. It was something that I had actually suggested to Nelson. <laughs> I, I think it makes sense, because when your belly's full, you can't just keep eating food. I mean, you shouldn't be able to, anyway, to hydrate. So it's kind of, a, it's kind of an exploit, I thought. So we'll just hold on to all these berries. Look at them all. Let's turn them into refined. And, oh man, look at this. We can make a blueberry pie with eggs and milk and four refined berries. You know what? I'm pretty sure we have eggs and milk on the truck. We just have to find the truck. <laughs> oh, a boat! But that's not a real boat. That's just decoration. So anyway, we're out of, uh, we're out of the hot water here. So let's, um, let's have a look about. This is like a little concession stand outside this, uh, it's like a condominium or something here, right? It's kind of cool. Unfortunately, nothing to drink here on the picnic tables. Oh, we can't even go inside here. They're all locked up. Yeah, we can't enter this building, which, well, that makes sense, because it would, it would take forever to explore this thing anyway. But yeah, these are really nice, either apartments or condos or rental units. I don't know. Looks pretty cool, though. Not a lot of zombies. This is... Oh, we're at Moncton. Okay, yeah, we crossed the river. This is Moncton, the city. And we... Oh, boy. We're going to need some medication. Our immunity is so low. Hold on a sec. Do we have any water? No, we don't. I, we did see a water tower in the last episode. It was near the bridge. So I think we'll go get some dirty water. And hopefully we can find some kind of a hospital or something to get some purification tablets. Oh, these things are back? Or did I miss these? I guess I just missed those bushes. All right, well, that's cool. Let's, uh, let's refine them. Fantastic. But again, I won't eat them until we, we're down to 90% food. Oh, oh, there's my old campsite. Is this thing claimed? Claimed. It is. All right, let's go get the truck, and then I think we talked about going to the prison, right? Yeah, so we're over here. we got to go through the town, and uh, yeah, let's do that. And I'm pretty sure my car is on the other side of town. 
I don't think there's any pharmacy or anything in this town, unfortunately. But there is a, uh, there's a police department. So we should at least check out the police department. There it is, right there. And see if we can't find some ammunition. At the very least. Get a box of ammo, maybe. So, anyway, today is July 3rd, and I'm going to be uploading this tomorrow. So, for you, at the time of this uh, video you're watching, it should be... Oh, ammo. It should be the 4th. 4th of July. So, if you are in the U.S. and you celebrate the 4th of July, which I would imagine you would, then uh, happy 4th! Alright, excellent. Now, we can fill up that Colt mag... Let's see. Yes. Okay, so now we have seven rounds in that one. Fill this one up. Now we got two extra bullets. All right. Let's go get the car. And let's blow this joint. And the car is on the other side of that tower. If I recall. So let's just be sneaky and sneak right through town. It's a mechanic shop. A mechanic shop. Ooh, it's a battery. Grab an extra battery. I don't really have a lot of space, but do we have an axe? Did we ever find an axe? I think we did. I think I put an axe on the car. Oh. I don't know. Let's just get out of here. Oh, I can eat a berry now. And now I have to anyway, down to 2%. There we go. And there's the little purple truck. All right. Excellent. And there's the water tower. Let's go over the water tower and we'll fill up our uh, canteen. It will be dirty water, but hopefully we'll find some meds. Oh, here we go. We've got a couple of uh, medical responders here. <laughs> Emergency medical responders. Dude, hit that thing. How is he not? There he goes. Okay, good. Thanks. Little purple truck takes a beating. It's not very tough. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, uh, Rag, really? You guys didn't have any meds on them. Didn't have any meds. That is a shame. So, is this looks like some kind of a school? Oh, just an apartment building, I guess. Salty chips. We don't want salty chips. I don't need a backpack. Uh, I'm not sure it's worth checking the rest of it. I guess we will. You know what? Let's um, let's pop that rag on. Go to the top and work our way down. There's never any zombies in these buildings, so we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, these are just apartments. Pretty nice apartments. Oh! Shotgun shells inside here. That's lovely, because we have a 12-gauge shotgun. And I'll drop the, uh, the 20s. These are the 20s. Combine the, tw combine the 12s. This thing's fully loaded, right? All right, let's go. So on Friday, guys, we're going to be getting a new map. The official Germany map. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do with this particular series. I know we sort of talked about it in a recent episode. I am definitely going to be playing the Germany map. I just don't know if I'm going to do it hardcore mode, hard mode, or just with... Papa Smurf doing my, my roleplay routine, silly stuff. Maybe both. I don't know. I haven't really pondered it yet. So, something I'll think about more. Let's have another berry. Up to 15%. That's how it's going to go. Let's check the skills. 45. And how's our cooking? Because we can make a pie. Oh, gosh. We're not even close. Oh, I hate to spend the points on cooking since we're so far away. I'd rather go with the punch or the speed or jump. Let's go with punch. All right, guys. I'm all packed up and ready to roll out. I'm pretty sure we're right here outside of this little town without a name. Let's jump on this road and follow it to the Dorchester Prison and see what's there. Sounds like a fun place. Let's go. Now, sadly, I forgot my ba my uh, my sleeping bag and my campfire back at the other side of town. Oh, gas. We should probably get some. While we're here, we should fill up. And Oh, an, an off-roader. Oh, that's a lovely car. 
It's a little bit more durable, I think, than this pickup truck. Oh, dude, hit the... Why isn't he, why isn't he hitting the, uh, the uh, barbed wire? It's still there, right? Sure is. Come on, fool. He doesn't know what to do. Don't chew up my little purple car. No, I don't want you to do that. Thank you. Oh, they never cooperate, do they? Ooh, off-roader. I don't know. Is it worth really making the exchange right now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's just get some gas in this thing. Fill it up. And then we can boogie. Yeah, that's close enough. Let's just check inside the gas station. Maybe there's some food. Something to drink. Oh, water. Oh, delicious water. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. Where's that going to bring us to? 44. All right, we can hold off eating the berries now for a little while. <laughs> Wait for our uh, stomach to get hungry again. Start growling for food. Maybe we can eat berries. All right, great. Not a bad stop. Oh, trousers. Don't need them. Actually, I should grab them. I can tear them up so I can make a new camp. Um, a new sleeping bag. Yeah, that's the ticket. Picks up a little purple truck. And now, let's get back on the road. Oh, cow. Oh, cow. Hi, cow. How now? Leather. Really, dude? Oh, this raw beef. Sweet. Now, I can't cook that yet. <laughs> I have to learn cooking one. So we're going to chuck it in here. I don't really need it at the moment. Belly's full of uh, blueberries right now anyway. So it's not like we're that hungry. You know, I don't think I do have an axe. We should have checked that fire station for an axe. I might be getting this one confused, this playthrough confused with um, with Papa Smurf, because I think he was looking for an axe and he found one, and it was super exciting. And I thought it was this one. Uh, what do we have here? That looks like a workable vehicle. Just a little farm. Nah, let's not go to the farm. We've seen farms before. They're not that exciting. Let's get to the prison. That sounds like a fun place to visit. With luck, this prison will have a, uh, an infirmary. And maybe we can get some medication there. I really don't like teetering at the very center of this immunity bar here at 50%. We get one tiny little scratch and we're going to start to die of toxic shock. So this is a cool looking place. And here come the cops. Let's see if we can get him to walk into the barbed wire. It's the way to do it. Pop. Zap. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh, good. Can I make a... Uh, oh, 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 no, I can't make a bedroll yet, can I? I need three more cloth. Darn it. All right, no big deal. Let's put it back, and then we'll uh, we'll make it up in a second. What is this? A log. All right, well, can't make a bed out of a log. Let's go. Stop! No, going in. Oh, look at the prison yard with all the prisoners out there. <laughs> That's pretty great. Oh, a police car. It's a nice vehicle. Can't put a lot of storage on it, but it is tough. It takes a beating. It keeps on ticking. Wait, no, it's licking. It takes a licking, keeps on ticking. Right, not beating. It doesn't rhyme. All right, I think we're just going to go around this guy. Maybe we can find some 12-gauge shotgun shells. And then we can start shooting our gun. Uh, what is that? Oh, smoke! That's like the first smoke we've ever seen. It's not a lot of flares and smokes uh, on these custom maps, it seems. At least this one, anyway. They can really come in handy. Oh, yeah. Bottoms. Uh, now I can make a sleeping bag. I should do that real quick. Oh, no, I can't. Is that... Yes, yes, I can. Three. Math. I needed three, right? Yes, bedroll. A yellow one? No, I need to save that flare. We don't have a campfire to stay nice and toasty warm, unfortunately. But at least if we croak in this prison... We'll pop right back there. Uh, that looks like a police van over there. Cool. I don't think I've ever found one of those spawned in a game before. 
Oh, it's beautiful. And I can smash this guy's face all up. Uh, if I can hit him. All right. Let's go check it out. These are all fakes. It's an armored police truck. Now this won't have any problem driving over the zombies. Eh, it'd be really hard to get boxes in the back, but I gotta take it. Obviously, we have to take this. <laughs> it's like a poor man's Earl. Earl has a lot of space in the back. So I guess we could put like a little shelf here in the rear. Put some boxes on it. We can stack them right up. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. I think I think we're gonna like it. I think we're gonna like that one. Let's check this tower. And then we'll head inside. I know there's one more tower left. Oh yeah, 20 gauge! They don't use 12 gauge at this prison? Oh, why? Why, 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 why? Well, I don't like that. Alright. Let's head inside. I'm gonna try to use stealth. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spitter. That's not good. And I see a shotgun over here in the yard. <laughs> right on the picnic table. <laughs> uh, I think we should just shoot here. We have a few rounds. I wonder how many zombies are around here, though. Uh, man. I can't get hit. That's the key <laughs> to all this. Can't get touched. Don't touch me! Alright, well that was... That was good. That was good. Let's grab this and see if there's any ammo in it. One round. Let's salvage it. And combine those. So now we have 13 shots with a shotgun. I think we just go for it. Let's just go for it. We'll put this here too. I mean, this could be the last episode, right? I might be able to kill this guy with a... I shouldn't take a chance. <laughs> Here we go. Get him with this thing, we will. Here they come. Boom. Come get wrecked, fool. Uh, hold on. I want to use the, uh... I want to use the... Oh, oh that was a flanker. I'm going to use my baseball bat for the crawlies. They're easy enough to kill. At least not want not. All right, let's back out of there. Super speed. And yeah, let's go. Let's go beat on him. It's a pretty good experience, actually. Did I get the flanker? Now I saw him in there, but I'm not sure if I got him. My bat needs to be repaired. I think. Wow! That was close. That was close. That was close. Watch out where you're backing up. And one. Huh? Two. Oh my gosh! Hit him! Oh, he had 12 gauge shotgun shells on him. Awesome. Let's do some combining here. Alright. Got a fully loaded shotgun. Let's keep moving. These are all closed up and locked, huh? Is that everybody? Grab the flashlights for the metal so we can do some repair jobs here. Alright, we got a, a yard here. Shoot this guy in the back of the head. Boom! Here they come, right? Whoa! That guy I could have beat with a baseball bat, but he was on top of me too fast. Here we go, here we go. This guy we can take. This guy we can take. Over here, fella. Give me those good XP! They did a pretty good job on this prison. Like, they got the, uh, the, the, the seats over here. The, uh, stadium seats. Got the workout station. Some bars. Monkey bars. It's pretty wild. Oh. I guess I missed that fella. Alright, well, let's go find the, where the guards hang out. It's gonna be a guard station, because that's really what we want. Siphon some gas out of these police cars. We're not gonna be using them. We're gonna take that armored vehicle. Check this out. We can climb up a ladder. Yeah, it's over here. I did check the second floor cells. There was nothing in any of them. 
So that looks like the, the guards facility over here. So we just have to find a way in. I don't know if there is an entrance. Maybe this is all closed up like the condo. That would be a shame. Unless we get in through the back. Hmm. This must be the high security area back here. <laughs> the worst of the worst are incarcerated. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get in here, guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Yes, we can. Whoa! Alright, that's a lot. This is where we use... Oh, wow! Oh, gosh. I did not see him. Okay, run it out. <laughs> he almost got me. He almost got me. All right. Look, look at this. Something walked into my car. You guys can chew this up now. Uh, oh, boy. It's not working. It's not working. Hold on. All right, hold up. Let's eat some berries. And now that they're out... I meant to do that. Uh, we can go inside. Try to get around them. <laughs> and hustle this up before they come back. They shouldn't see me. Yeah, some, some animal walked right into the barbed wire. That's pretty darn funny. Alright, we got one dude left. At least on the outside. We can take him. We gotta hustle, though, before those guys come around. <laughs> Should be quiet enough. Oh! Oh, boy. Hello! Flamer here. Two shots. Oh, no! Flanker. Oh, here they come. Here they come. All right, let's get inside. Whoa, Flanker. Oh, man, he almost got me. Where's the door? There's no door. I go. There's no door. I guess we can't go inside this thing. But I don't see any way in. Maybe we need, like, a ladder or something. Uh, that could be the way in. Maybe the map maker is a tricksy feller. And that's what he wants us to do. Or maybe not. Alright, let's just get out of here. I'm gonna go right out the back. Float right on out. And I think we're gonna call it quits. Oh, a deer! That's what ran into the truck. Must have been his little body. I'm so sorry about your friend. You should watch where he's going. Usually the cars run into the deer. Rather than the deer running into the cars. Oh boy. So I just left the game to save it and came back and now all the zombies are back. I want to get that armored vehicle before we call it quits today. I think we can do this. Are there any spitters? No, but there is one flamer. I think we can get it out without taking any damage. Well, the car might take some damage, but as long as we don't, we should be okay. <laughs> Let's beat this guy because I have a feeling he's going to be a problem. As soon as that car starts up. Thank you. Uh, ooh, I hope it fits. It'll fit. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I love the sound of this thing. Oh, no, you jerk. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem. I can tell you that right now. These cars are so lightweight. The zombies just toss them around. I hate that. All right, how are we going to do this? We're aimed in the right direction. We got it. We got this. I'm a professional. Run. Run, run in there. Go. Go, go, go. I, I gotta turn it out. I gotta turn straight. I gotta turn straight. Turn it. Doesn't turn very easily. And we're free. Oh. <laughs> okay, smash the tree. Actually, I could use a new campfire. I might smash into that a little bit more. This car can take it. It's a beast. Look at that. It didn't take any damage. Let's do it again. Mm, got it. Nice. All right, grab the wood. Grab the wood and go. Oh, here he comes. Sorry, Ossifer. I, I didn't see the tree there. All right, we're done. We're good. We're good. It's only two logs. I can't make a campfire with two logs. All right, we're going to call it quits right here, folks, because I am done. I got, uh, I got fireworks tonight, so I got to go get ready for that. And I will transfer all this stuff from a little purple truck onto a new armored vehicle for next time. And then we'll go off and look at some of the other sites here. Maybe we'll go to the military base and take a nice long ride along the north end of the map. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. 
Have a good 4th of July. Take care. Bye-bye.